Hey guys, hope you're having a great weekend. Just want to share something you're leading into our meeting. I reached out to some of you and did some one-on-one film sessions. I like doing that with just about everybody on the offensive line. Hey, but I'm available, you know, as we start getting closer here to what we're trying to do uh, for other guys who, you know, want to get some individual time, just kind of talking through their game and what they're doing. Want to look at this end zone version from our Hickory Ridge game. Uh, this is a cut up that I shared for the second time uh, on Friday. want you to look through this. And what I really want you to look at, especially when we get to this ver version where we have our back to the camera and look at our first step and how your first step leads you. Uh, also, we need to talk about box count. Uh, in this scenario right here, we're running uh, inside zone crib to the right, uh, crib to the right. And we need to start our box count, okay? Because we'll see formations like this, especially with our own defense. Uh, this is what they'll give us. Um, so we need to start the box count right here. That's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And five, okay? So in this scenario, those are the guys that we block. And we have to have uh, the quarterback read that guy because he is outside of our count. And so in this scenario, we're getting ready to watch right here. Um, we get kind of jacked up on a couple of these runs because we're not making the proper box count. So when we make that count right there, okay, that means the right tackle. Yes, he can engage and help. Because remember, the hole is over here to your left. So you can help there, but you're responsible for that guy especially if he comes screaming off the edge, there is no help. You got to go, okay? Now, we talk about three and four. That would be belong to the center and the left guard, okay? Now, a lot of ways we can do this. If they're in a uh, scenario like this, um, we can work both base there and work up to that linebacker. OK. Tackle, you got a guy head up. So the only way you would take him is if you take your good zone step, which I don't think we do, and you get started on this track and he tries to cross your face. OK, you will take him. OK, because in that scenario, the quarterback will look out here and see nothing after he reaches and rides and he could potentially pull. So you just take him and drive him inside. If they are doing a gap exchange, there's nothing we can do about it. You'll end up taking the end. This guy will drop outside. And then I would dare say, if you just hammer that guy and continue to push him inside, the running back may end up cutting back off of your block. Okay. All right. Let me go back to the running back. Get all this mess out of the way. All right. Running back. Talking about reads. I talked with the eighth graders about that. Uh, on Friday, okay? In this scenario, first down lineman pass to center. That is your read. He's head up, but we're going to count him as, as the first down lineman, okay? Certainly, if he was behind and there was nobody in A-gap, he's a read anyway because we know we can get that block there and you can just hit it right here uh, at, inside of those those blocks, okay? All right, so let's look at what we do and look at how we make our count. Okay, so we go one and two outside, but the, but the left guard, I have no clue on crib where you're going because in no circumstances is that your guy. If you had gone to the linebacker, I could have understood it. But bottom line, guys, we got to work to the play. Okay, we got to work to the play. And you would be working with the center, and that would allow the center to have come off because of the stack the way they are right here. Okay, the guard would have had the down lineman. The center would have had him. Now, I don't expect you guys to overtake them. As I said, push them in the direction that they're going, and the running back could have hit right off your butt uh, left guard if you had come in there and slammed him and kept going. OK, and here again, that's a 
that factor of not getting your count. OK, it's impossible to run these plays if we don't identify the five that we're supposed to block and left tackle. That's not your man. OK, um, I can't think of a scenario other than us going big on big where you would end up blocking number six if it's just five of us. Now, if you know, if remember, if it was the fullback, the fullback would block back, but you would still end up blocking number five, which is that guy right there. So we got to get that corrected. All right, let me move on to the next play. And it's the same thing. Crib. Here again, we're working to our stack. And our stack on the front side, they did a, a, a stun on us. Linebacker comes inside. So we do a good job of handling that. Okay. Here again, backside, it's fuzzy. Because, I, I mean, I, I have never, I don't remember calling fan blocking, okay? So if I'm calling crib, the only other thing other than straight base I would call would be gator or golf, okay? Let's look at that for a second. All right, but we can't do it here because we got two outside the front, okay? So ain't no need of doing that. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four, and there's five. Those are the five we're supposed to block. Remember, quarterback is reading. So you, you step inside, take a good step inside, collect that linebacker on your way. You step inside, double with, him, with the center up to that guy. You step here. That guy goes away. You keep going. You end up with him. As you go, you, you take that guy on, but remember, He's not helping himself going away from the play. So the both of y'all push him out. We're in good shape. And running back would run right off of that block right there. Quarterback would read. Okay. So we get an unclear read because we're actually blocking the read guy. And here again, in the middle of the game, in the middle of the game, we gotta self-correct. We gotta, we gotta come to the sideline talk about how they're aligning and talk about how we're supposed to block. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll be doing a better job of that certainly this year, but that is nothing, no way for your quarterback to end up on a play. And I know, you know, it was, it was messed up from the start. That's why. Okay. Here we are. Now, look, I don't like being backed up. I don't like being right there on the goal line, but I can tell you what, I like the video. Okay. And I know down here, we, we had him jump inside. Uh, he came down to to a two-eye. He's in a two-eye. He's in a, a, a five. And um, so, you know, they've jumped inside. He's head up. We'll call him four-eye uh, to head up. All right. So now we're going to take the ball outside. And, uh, you know, I – I would dare say first thing I'm looking at is alignment. There is nowhere in my playbook that we go foot to foot. Okay. All right. We'll talk about doing it on goal line, but not necessarily. So let's go ahead and get our regular stance and, and be out there. Okay. And here's your job. Wise, if we go 12 personnel, the H would be here. Look for a lot, Look for this play right here out of 12 personnel, okay? But your job is to slam here and get to here, okay? Got to pin that linebacker because we got the fullback or the H-back coming around for the first thing in the alley. Maybe that guy, okay? Maybe somebody else. But our job right here between the tackle and tight end is to build a wall right there. And and tackle, we, we talked about this a little bit. You got to help yourself with your first step. I know y'all are foot to foot, so get, that's why I need a little air here. So your first step has to be on this angle on a 180, outside, open those hips, and get this inside hand to that outside shoulder, okay? And if you do that, then you can bring this hand around here and build that wall. The tight end will help you, but then he's got to go, okay? 
So if we can get that done right there, this is a heck of a play. I don't care what else is going on. Okay. Uh, if we are running Packer, if we're running Packer uh, in this scenario, actually nobody can pull because one, you're covered inside. He's head up. Okay. Uh, and you're covered center inside too. So what we need to do on this side of the line of scrimmage is just go ahead and wall everything off. Okay. Get the seal here. Seal here. Seal. Seal. Some one of y'all can come off and step inside and seal here. Okay. I don't need five guys running out here. That's not the design of the play. What I do need is I need to keep all five of them, one, two, three, four, five, inside. Then that way we can get around the edge clean and we can get to the races. All right. So let's look at what we got. Okay, here we go. Okay, right tackle. See how your step, your step, your step is not that bad, but you left your head behind. Okay, like I said, if you're trying to get that shoulder, that inside shoulder here, if you're trying to get that inside hand here, your head is here. Okay, now that whole thing helps you wheel that off and seal. But right here, you step to his inside shoulder, which is which inside hand, outside, and every time he's going to win that. And I think we actually get a holding call, if not on this one, on the next one. Yep. See how you're kind of behind. If you if you feel if you feel yourself in this situation right here, okay, run with the inside hand to that shoulder. Now you can get your body in between him and the running back. Okay, that's something we can do to improve. But our first step would have helped us seal the edge. And tight end, come over the top. Don't come behind. You step behind. You step here. You step here and slam and go up. Don't step behind and because you're really not helping us. You're, you're more hindering us than, than helping. Okay? And I know you're not here anymore. You're all conference. I love you to death, but we could have done this better. Okay? On the back side, okay. On the outside, full back. Come on, man. Come on. At this point, right here, right here, right about here, start buzzing your feet. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Buzz your feet. Terrible sound effect, I know. Buzz your feet, and then that way you don't get slipped inside. He set you up because he forced to play, and then he jumped inside. That's a old sneaky defensive trick that Coach Crite teaches them DBs and Coach Lott teaches them and has taught in the past, teach them old Wally Coyote moves where they lure you to the outside and then jump inside. That's something for everybody who blocks on the edge, including your wide receivers, to notice. Okay? So if we get that kick here, we're through the hole. It's it's out the gate. But he, he jukes you, steps inside, and clogs everything up. That's his job. That's his job. Where did he come from? Is that that's the safety? Okay. So here again, I missed one. It's on me. Because if we ran this play and I saw that on second down, I should have run, fake the toss, and run pit. And he would have been uh in the newspaper looking sad as AJ run down the field, scored touchdown. Because we should have faked the pitch and then threw pit. I'll get him. I, 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 number six, if he back this year, I'm going to get him. You watch. Okay. But uh, because here again, that's terribly out of position for a safety. Okay. I know we're on the goal line, but you need, if they're not disciplined, we'll get them. And that's not discipline. Okay. All right. Let me see if we got one more pitch here again. Tackle. I know you're strong as an ox, but let's rely on our feet. I want you to start this year relying on your feet, getting you in a better position because I'm getting you ready for 2021 or is it 22? Whenever. 
You know what I'm talking about. Use your feet to get in a better position. Go ahead and wall that off. Tight end, step out, and then slam, okay? It's going to come to you. Trust me, it's going to come to you. Um, but don't step behind our alignment. And let me see what we do on the interior. Good job, right guard. Right guard, yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Boom, helped your guy, and then get up and look for work. There he is, perfect, okay? That right there, okay, from a right guard, that's money. That's money right there. And then look, he's downfield. We got the hole, but I'm telling you what, if this isn't on, if this isn't on your highlight film, I want to know why. That's that's good stuff right there. I almost curse. Sorry. I get excited. I get excited about O-line play. So anyway. All right. So that's it. I just wanted to run through, get up, get up backs to the camera so you guys could see some of the stuff. Continue to study. Please, guys, let me do this before I go. Playbook. Come on. Hurry up. Computer. Playbook. Click on the installs. After I do this right here, okay, here's the next thing you should do. Click on installs. Go to 2020. Where is it? Outside run install. There it is right here. 2000 run outside runs. Okay. So after you watch what, I, what I'm doing here, click on this and go through this. Okay. On all these installs, I start off with box count. We have to know what we're running up against. And just like on that last one, we didn't look like we had a good a good idea on a couple of plays of what we're running against. So I want you to go through this. And what I want you to do as you go through this install, take you a piece of paper or a board. I got a board right here at my desk. You see, I got boards here, boards on the back wall. I can jump up with an idea and write it down. But write down stuff like this. You can write it on, if you have something like this, you can get this for like, a, at the dollar store for a dollar. A little little board with the marker. Two dollars. Write down your plays as, you wa as you're watching them. Write them down. Erase them. You don't understand? Write it down again. Okay? In fact, this board right here, this what I wrote right here, this is while I was listening to Coach Crate do defensive install. That's that's Rocky Rivers defense right there that I drew. Because I want to learn what he's teaching. So I wrote that down during his presentation. So if you laying in the bed with your hill on your pillow, just watching moving pictures, you're not learning. Okay? We need to do a better job of becoming students of the game. If you have any questions, give me a call. Uh, if uh, if you're not on my remind, get on my remind. Wine, send me a message through here. Um, I want to hear from some guys. We we need to talk more football. Okay, when we're sitting around and something pops in our head and we don't understand, pick up the phone, call somebody. All right, guys, we gonna we gonna do some big things, but it's all gonna start up here. Okay, on those plays that you saw, one of those runs could have been the difference in that game. OK, they could have put us out on front, helped our confidence and we could move forward. Instead, the whole game, we kind of slopped it around till the very end when it was too late. So let's not do that. Let's get off to good starts. Guys, I love you. I'll see you. See you. Uh, uh, seven o'clock Monday at our meeting. All right. Have a good night.